you Israelites who are on the top of the ruins going, where's FEMA? Where's FEMA at? You trusted in FEMA? You were praying to him, but I guarantee you, you prayed because of your um, calamity, man. Before that, you didn't give a damn. So the Lord left you to it. Did he? Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shape. It's like of the trust, the shed of Egypt, of confusion. For his price, for his prices, for his princes were at Zoan. Zoan. And his ambassadors came to Hanes. Uh, go, go to verse 9. <laughs> jump to first, I'm going to jump to verse 9. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, yep. and children that will not hear the law of the Lord. This is a rebellious people. Like, uh, you, you Israelites are rebellious, man. Even uh, Pastor said that. Well, he's always been saying that last two years. So, we've got niggas in GMS. <laughs> he keeps that's saying spirit. it. Yeah, that's he keeps saying it, it, yeah. it. He said, we got niggas in GMS. And I remember when he said it, and he kept saying it, I've got a video of it, about a year and a half ago. Now look what's happened, man. The last six months, people have just been getting kicked out, bugged out. One guy uh, did a video, he used to be in Great Millstone, over there in the islands. He saw it's not the white man. What? Do you know what I mean? But he used to be in the camp and in the truth. He saw it's not the white man. All right, even if you think that, why? Why is that the only topic you bring it up? Yeah, you see how slave-minded they are, man. You know, they're just trying to save um, Esau any way they can. Thank you, brother. That's why the Lord doesn't need us. The Lord doesn't need us. No, he doesn't need any of no. us, man. He don't owe us nothing. Yeah, he, we owe him. We owe him, up. We owe him, man. But what did he say? Read verse nine again. He said, the rebellious people, man. This is Isaiah 30 and nine. Yep. He says, this is a rebellious people. Yep. Lying children. Yep. Children that will not hear. Of the Lord. There you go. And we told you what the law is. Sin is a transgression of the law, man. So our people do not want to listen. When they listen, they don't want to do. Thank you. You know? So they're going to get what's coming to them. I've but. got that scripture for you that you oh, called, oh. yeah? Ecclesiasticus 20, 23 19. Right. Such a man the only. Yeah? Apocrypha, yes? Right, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Go, yes? Go, man. So the Lord is everywhere. And what does the Satan do? This white man, he tries to be like the Lord. That's why he's got CCTV everywhere. Britain's got the most CCTV in, 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 every, in any country in the world, man. You know? And it, the software is from an Israeli company, man. So everything goes back to this devil, man. Trying to be like the Most High, like it says. Yeah, we'll get that in a minute anyway. Continue. Which say to the seers, see not. Yep. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us. Speak, brother, speak. Right things. Speak unto us, smooth things. Prophesy the seeds. There you go. They don't want correction. They don't want correction. They rather have the a message of. Um, what's that song they sing? Man, it's called us. Especially them churches in West Africa, the Israelites over there, they had that song, Give and it will come back to you. <laughs> Good measure, press down, shake it together, run him over. You know, give and it will come back. That's what they want to hear, man. They want to hear, like, yeah, I gave the Lord 20 yeah. pounds. Yeah. The Lord got more play, man. I'm going to get 200 pounds. I'm going to win the lottery. That's how our people are, they co they covet us, but they covet us for money and wickedness, man. I'll tell you what, I used to deal with this girl from Manchester years ago. Yeah. And she said to me, oh, you know what, I need to pay my tithes. Yeah. Right? And she told me the reason why she's paying her tithes, because she said to you, because God will bless you and you'll get more things out, you'll get more riches out of it. Yeah, you told me that, i never forget that. Yeah, you see, right? see how wicked that is, man? Church girl. So it says prophesy not unto us right things. Thank you. Still you? Thank you. Get you out of the way, turn aside, out of the path. Yep. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's it. Because what? They honor him with their lips, but their heart is yes. far from him. Thank man. you. No? What was that? Isaiah 29, I think. 
Yeah, I say uh, 29 and 16 up for this. Yeah, man. Or they just speak to God when they want a, a, a visa. Heavenly Father, please yeah. give me a visa <laughs> so I can go to Europe, yeah. you know, and be a nigger and, and get benefits and do nothing. Please. I'm telling you, man. And the Jakes in West Africa, they're so um, docile and they don't understand that this man is their enemy. So that's why this truth is important because we have to tell them, man. Yes. Whether they like it or not, accept it or not, or approve it or not. So this is a serious job and it's not something to be played about with. Right? No, oh, right, brother. I was really big, sir. I respect you. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 16. It says, Surely you're turning your things upside down. That's not the one, that's not the one I wanted. Nah, that's not that's my thing. You know that one? Oh, what was the scripture anyway? No, 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 no. It was just something else I wanted. Can't remember now. Uh, can't remember now. Anyway, get Proverbs 29 and 2. Esau and. No, no, the churches, isn't it? Uh, wicked churches, they just want smooth things. But else. Scripture I wanted, I can't remember now. When it comes back though, I'll, I'll ask you to look out. Is it cool, bro? What did I say? I got to go. No, no, it's not that one, it's not that one. But if it comes back, I don't know. No, no, I just read that one. Yeah. No, worry, when I remember, Lord, bring it back to me. Because it was a juicy scripture. They're all juicy, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like you got your favorites, isn't it? True, true. Prime cuts. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. Right. It says, when the righteous are in authority, yep. the people rejoice. Right. But when the wicked bear it through, the people mourn. There you go. And our people are in mourning right now, man. And they need to know why. Alright? They need to know why. Yeah, Hosea 5 15. And that's our job is to tell them why. Whether they like it or not, whether they hear it or not, man or take it on board because we know we you can see visions of our people just getting slaughtered man when i watch them films like that film this week you can just envision it's going to be our people so you bro your brothers that in this truth this is a serious thing to do man all right like that woman who had a um a guy using gms and he rebuked the elders the apostles ended up in a car crash uh, ribs broken, he couldn't even um, eat. He has to eat from a straw, he's in intensive care. And he was talking shit about the apostles, man. So his wife did a video and put it on YouTube and said, when the apostles speak, you better listen, man. Yep. Yeah. I remember that video, I had to cut it and put it on one of my other videos. Yeah. Because the injuries that the guy had, wow, man. So this is a God that you don't want to play with. And that put fear in you, didn't it? It put fear in you, exactly. There you go. It put fear in you. Yeah, it went for... There you go, man. That should put the fear in you to do the Lord's work diligently and to go, man. And the part of doing this work is to be corrected, to improve, yeah. is to grow, yeah. is to admit that you've got... Um, uh, is to admit that you're wrong, you know? If you don't have that, eventually, the Lord is going to take the Holy That's Spirit right. away from you. Man. That's it. Eventually, He's going to do it it's away from you. you. Can't have no um, passengers. So when the apostles, the apostles are, said three videos a week, He said, "Brothers that are new into the truth, if you're new, fair enough. That's all right. If you're not in here for six months, fine. You know, don't worry about it. But if you've been six months or over, three videos a week, ten minutes each." That's it, yeah. Now you can just do one video half an hour. You, this brother does videos what every week, three or four, and he does it where at your workplace, right? Well, go. On. He does it at his workplace, right? While he's working, he does the Lord's work. Lord's work on Esau's time. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's you know? good, brother. <laughs> so he's doing double shifts. That's wise. You know. He's working hard, extra hard, this is good, that's what the Lord wants. He wants to see you grow and flourish like a plant, 
But if you ain't a part of that, the Lord's gonna fucking uproot you, man. Yeah, man. You're like a weed killer. Just grab it and uh, get out of the way. I don't need you, man. Clear path. So you gotta take this seriously, man. Said it to the brother earlier, better to be corrected by us than your whole shy. Woo! That is heavy. But the Lord says he's gonna purge out the rebels, right? <laughs> you know? Like Winston, he corrected me many a time, man. You know? I took it. Okay? That's what we have to do in this truth, man. Any more than that? Right, this is Hosea 5 and 15. Right? It says, I will go and return to my place to have the knowledge that I have There you go. The Lord said it what? Read it again. Read it louder. I will go and return to my place until they acknowledge their offense. There you go. So the Lord said, I'll go to my place to acknowledge their offense, man. All right. And now the Lord's walking us up. So we're, we've acknowledged what our offenses are. It's just breaking the law, statutes and commandments, man. You know? Hold it and get um, Daniel 9 and 11. And every one of us did it. Slap it up. So right, if you uh, get a, a bottle of water. Yes, brother, no problem. Sorry, man. My throat is dry, man. Yes, brother. Get the water. No? So at the end of the day, this is a serious thing. This is not um, Saturday night at the movies. This is a, a deadly serious thing. That's why when, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, where do I go? Where do I go to get it? Anywhere, in the shop. Like that, I think there's one around there. Yeah. Like that one. Who wants water? Anybody wants water? Ah, it's all right. Oh, yeah. 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 So at the end of the day, this is yeah, just a normal one, thanks. So this truth comes first before anything else. Right? Women, uh, oh. uh, your children. Eve, isn't it? Said that. You know? Alright, you see? This is Daniel 9 and 11. Yep. It says, Yeah, O Israel, have transgressed thy law, yep. even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. There you go. They not obey thy voice. Really, really, it sounds, it's going to sound weird, but especially when you're in the truth, when, especially when one person says something to you, another person says something to you, you got to start listening, man. Because you might think, well, he's doing it because of this. But then if the next person says the same thing, you got to examine yourself, man. Right? That's what we have to do. See? Therefore, because it's called upon us, yep. and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, yep. and the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. There you go. So we've sinned against Heavenly Father. That's the reason why we're in the mess we're in today, man. All right? So when it says I've gone to my place to acknowledge the offense, it's right there. Now the Lord said he's going to uh, build an army and wake our people up and raise what? Tabernacle of David, man. No? Which is one of your favorite. Is it one of Amos? 9-11, uh, isn't it? Another one that says I'll raise the tablet for David. Yeah, that's it. Right. Read, read that one first, anyway. Yeah. Right. This is Daniel 9 and 11. Yep. It says, Yeah, who is you have transgressed thy law? Yeah, read it louder, read it louder. Even by departing, yeah. that they might not obey thy voice. So we didn't obey the Lord's voice, man. What did, did, does God come off his throne, tap you on the shoulder and say, Yo, Michael, yo, John. You're not doing what I'm supposed to do. No, the Lord set men up to learn this truth and they're going to tell you, all right? Continue. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Yep. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, yep. the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. There you go. So, because we have sinned against him, man. So that's the reason why we're in this mess today. That's the reason why we have black and black crime. That's the reason why women are whores and sluts. That's the reason why we have Uncle Tom's in the community. That's the reason why our people are getting their head blown off by the cops. And they don't know. So we have to go out and tell them, man. Right? If you don't know, you know, what's the point? So the Lord is doing amazing things, right? And he's giving us the secrets. And we will teach the secrets to those that want to be taught. Alright? The aim was um, free, free and seven. Alright? And that one was what? Amos 9 11, isn't it? Yeah, Amos 3 and 7. Check this out. Actually, 
Things will happen, man. First two years, when I was uh, <laughs> in the camp, the first time I got sternly rebuked was there. Because I told the woman to fuck off, which wasn't good. And then her son tried to beat me up. You know? Daughter started crying. <laughs> oh, man. Now, at the time I did it, the camp was still rolling. So, obviously, we continued. Afterwards, as soon as we closed out, I got dealt with it. <laughs> but after that, I didn't do it again, man. You know? But I was raw, I was, uh, um, you know that when you've got, you know they say you've got a fiery spirit? Like the brother here's got fire in his belly, you know that, that? But back then I didn't really know how to control it, man. So I just started to fuck off. And her son wanted to beat me up, you know? So I, but I got corrected, man. A righteous man falls, but he has to get up. And you can only get up if the Lord gives you spirit, man. Oh, this is famous. Chapter 3, verse 7. Yep. It says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth the secret unto his servants, the prophets. There you go, man. And that's what we have. We have the secrets. The mystery is in this Bible, man. Uh, uh, okay. Amos 9, Amos chapter 9, verse 11. Alright? And we're here to teach the good news. The word gospel means good news. The good news is. I love this picture though, man. Yeah, I, I, I like this one, but I love this picture. The good news is he's going to come back and he's going to save us out of this place, man. You know? And when he was walking on the earth, a lot of our people, they hated him, man. And they said the only king we have is Caesar, who was a white tyrant who was killing our people, man. So we had Uncle Tom's back then. we got Uncle Tom's now, man. He's going to come back and save us out of this madness. What do you mean save us? What do we need to be saved from? We need to be saved from the two thirds, first of all, because they're cancer and a plague, man. Okay? That's all right. What did I ask you to get? 9 and 11. All right, read it again. Amos, Amos 9 and 11. Yep. It says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. Yep. That is fallen. That's right. We fell as a people, man. Yeah, yeah, really, exactly, but even when you yeah, had the northern and southern kingdom that split, we were falling back then, man, because the Assyrians took out the northern kingdom. See? And close up the breaches they are off. That's right. See? I will raise up these ruins. I will build it as in the days of old. There you go, as in the days of old. But the main uh, word there is build. Now you work on a building site, innit? When you're building something, is it hard work? Exactly. So this guy works on, brother works on a construction site, digging, cementing, bricking, putting the pipes in. There he goes. And you, you, yeah, hard work, but you, you do it so you can get some money and all that. In the winter, the cold. I used to work in a you know, home base. And they used to always try and make me go outside in the freezing cold. I had to get a doctor's note to tell them, but they were still harassing me and so forth. So everything in life, you have to work hard to achieve results, man. All right? And that's the same in this truth. You can't half ass it, man. All right? You've got to be diligent and uh, steadfast in this truth. See? He says, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, like the water. <coughs> of all the heathens which are called by my name, there you go. the Lord. So we're going to have not just Esau, so-called Edomites, white people. We're going to have all of them serving us, man. Okay? Any more now? So if this... Behold, the days come, save the Lord. Now the plowman shall overtake the reaper. That's right. And when you're in this truth, you've got to plow, which is put work in, man. So when Apostle Taha said about the three videos a week, we'll see how many of you uh, people, uh, so-called so brothers, and brothers, because we all make mistakes, see whether you're doing it, man. Now, if you're not doing it, let's say you're in a camp, you ain't doing the three videos a week, 
but your leader's not really um, saying anything about it. I think you're getting away with it. Did we not just read that the Lord sees everything? Did we not just see that his eyes are ten times brighter than the sun? So even though your leader might not be on top of you because you're um, half-assing it, not doing the, the videos or whatever, when you can, because he did say the ones that have been in six months less, you know, you don't have to do it. Or, if you've been in it for a while but you're not confident about it, then be with someone who is confident about doing videos to let them show you, man. And then you, they go over it and then you learn as well. Me and a the brother there is going to do that. The Sabbath, right? Yeah. And the tree dog of grapes, him that sow his seed, and the, mo and the mountains shall drop sweet and wine, and all the hills shall melt. So, I, I so when you look at it, these heathens are going to serve us, but right now, this is the time to be diligent, man. All right? To be hard working. All right? To not be prideful. Oh, which one is that? Oh, Proverbs 6 and 16. Six things that I hate. Yeah. Seven is an abomination. And soon now, there's going to be a famine of the world. There you go. Mean? That's why we mentioned about the internet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Net neutrality, trying to, um, um, what's it called? Screen the content. And you said it's going to, it's coming into play now. It's coming into play is in it, America. Right? It is doing it now. Yeah, right? yeah. that's it. Yeah. If you speak, um, if you speak truth. Yeah. yeah. Lock you off straight away. Yeah, and yeah. you haven't said nothing about no one, you just they lock you off straight away. They basically can say that this is hate. Yeah. Hate yeah. speech, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, man. So there's gonna be a time where all the information and and basically everything that we use, they're gonna lock everything down, man. When this dollar collapses or they you know they try to make this American dollar collapse, because they want to get rid of cash so you can take this and when we went about it earlier, man, the mark of the beast. Which is, you know your Oyster card, yeah? Yeah. It's got that chip in it already. It's yeah. called an RFID chip. So, when you uh, scan it, it just reads it. But what they don't tell you is that in America, they're, they're making these chips and they've got cyanide in it. I tried to do that at our workplace. There goes, um, really? Yeah, they were going to... Yeah. Like, um, You're getting this, yeah? Like a casino. And, um, yeah. They were going to do chip with the fingerprints. Really? And, um, yeah, so I was asking them enough questions about it. I, I knew no about it already, but I was just asking them just to get some other. Yeah. And um, they go, Jim, might use the chip or we might use. Well, they didn't call it a chip at the time. They called, yeah. it, they called it something else to make it sound nice and cushy. And yeah. then they go, so we can have the farm thing done. So, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Biometrics, isn't it? Yeah. See that? And I think in Sweden, they said by 2020, there'll be totally no cash in the society. Yeah. And they're on track. Yeah, yeah. Because it was on BBC One. They had a workplace and they all got chips and they scanned their hand, so forth. But we're not to take this, man. Because when you take this, you're more or less saying that this white man is your God. But this is his wicked system. And we're slaves already, but he wants total control. One of the good films to watch is called The Belko Experiment. B-E-L-K-O Experiment. Okay. And I'm not going to give it away, but it's about this. And basically, they terminated anyone that didn't have it. Yeah, no, well, no, no, the ones that had it, yeah. they basically killed you anytime you didn't do what they told you. Oh, okay. And they basically switched the button and it explodes. So is that what they could do? Well, easy, brother. Easy. Big advertisement, I say. Yeah, yeah. that's so right. So is that what they can do? Easy, yeah. brother. That, easy. That's what they can do because this, it's got cyanide in it. So if you um, don't comply with them, the free, you know the frequency? Yeah. They'll turn it up. It will go up, it will explode, and then the cyanide will go in your stream, dead instantly. That's why that film, the Belko experiment, would watch, man. Yeah. Uh, Belko experiment. Yeah, yeah. Let me write it down for you. Yeah, please. Yeah. What are you doing? No. Belko experiment. I've got a pen out. I've got a pen. What's it? Yeah, I've got some paper here. Yeah. 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 And there's another one as well. What's it? Um, Bushwick. Yeah, yeah that, you see that one, yeah? That's a good one. Yeah, I'll write that down for you.
Yeah, I know. I said, Mark. So, don't mean to interrupt. Do you have any um, flies or? Yeah, yeah. Can I have one, please, as well? Don't worry, I will. Give me a good one to watch as well. Yeah, Alicia was a good one. And the film. It's called Belco. And you know what? Sometimes when you watch these films, you've got to look up the names, man. Yeah. You know? A lot of times they mean something satanic. Well, called experiment, sorry, experiment. It's very neat. And the other one's what? Bushwick, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, Bushwick. And there's a site that you can find um, any film and it's HD. HD, yeah. Yeah, like I watched, um, you know, Justice League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you that website. Yeah, and Watch us when it's praying, right? You watch for the prophecies. Yeah. Right. This is a prophecy, man. Yeah. That's why we have to come out here because the pastors are not doing it. Definitely yeah. not. Taking your money, that's Definitely what it is. Definitely not. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Phoenix Dot uh, Net. That's it. Right now, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the website there. Yeah. Oh, it's a serious time we're entering in, man. No? Yeah, these women, man, they, they don't know much. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> detail. Thanks a lot, brothers. It's alright, no worries, man. Oh, no. you want you want uh, leaflet, yeah? Oh, yeah, can I have oh, yeah. a leaflet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Start up and listen, and by yeah, the elect. Just about the elect. Very small right? remnant, man. Right? So, sorry, where were we now? Oh, yeah, six. Yeah, read that. Proverbs 16. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. Right? It says, These six things does the Lord hate. So he hates this, alright? <laughs> listen up, hates. Alright, go on. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. Wow, go on. A proud look. A lion tongue. Proud look and a lion tongue. Oh man, these Israelites, especially them yeah. Ghanaians, Nigerians, yes. Zerunionians, man. You're the bottom of the pile. West Indians? Yeah, uh, yeah, but they, they're still proud. Like George Ware being a president of Liberia, man. What a joke, man. A footballer's your president. Uh-uh. <laughs> says, a proud look. Yep. A lion tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. And a lot of you um, Israelites shed your own people's blood, man. So the Lord is hating all this already, continue. Heart that divisive, wicked, image, and imaginations, yep. feet that be swift in running to mischief. Oh, there's a fight over there. Oh, what's happening? Rather than just looking, yeah. they're running over there to... Remember when we had that cracker? The one that said, the white man's the devil, yeah? And we had that big crowd. People, yeah, people just came over 
because this uh, cracker was in our faces. That's it, man. Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. And then once it was gone, once he went, the crowd is dispersed. That's what I'm saying. It's only going to be, put it this way, statistically, take 100 jakes, yeah? Only 34 of them are going to make it. That's a lot, man. 100 people, only 34 are going to make it. Boy. Wow. False witness that speaketh lies. A false witness that speaketh lies, man. Twisting the truth, saying something, but you know it's not true, etc. You niggas are good at that. See? And he that soweth discord among brethren. There you go. Him that soweth discord among brethren. Which is deep, man. Which is not good. Alright? We've had it before. Not to put our bills out there. We've had that before in this camp, man. People so in this court saying this and that about someone. What that does is, when you don't start being straightforward with brothers, when you don't start doing the things that the Lord tells you to do, yeah. in the way the Lord tells you to do, what happens is, you'll have all of this, you hear something, someone will say this, someone will say that. Start looking at your brother differently, man. Start looking sideways at him. All of a sudden, here it is. You go home together after camp, and then he's like, oh, I'll see you next week, I'm going that way. That's why the Lord says these are an abomination to sow discord, man. Very, very serious thing, man. So the ones who, listen, the ones, I'm telling you, we're in 2018. One, one uh, video that you had, the brother over here had, I can't remember what it's called, but he said in the beginning of the video, the Lord has almost sealed his elect. And I believe that as well, man. I was watching that video, I was like, I feel that's, that's exactly what I feel. Wow. The Lord is almost there, man. And once that elects is sealed, all hell's going to break loose. So, do you want to be on the wrong side? Right. Or do you want to be on the right side? Do you want to grow? Or do you want to be a part that is a. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that, that guy, um, uh, you know, that group Murder Inc. When I was a nigger and used to listen to that music, one rapper had his uh, little verse. He goes, Midget niggas that grow slow. <laughs> that, that was one of the verses in the chorus. He was from physically, but everyone grows at different rates. Some brothers are good at one thing, some girls are good at the other. But we have to grow, and the time we're in, the times, you know, we can't muck around. Didn't you? My son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy, thy mother. That's right. If you look later. now, later. that is the time we're in, man. We're in a, a time coming around in judgment. Get first Peter 4 and 17, man. Because hmm? the Lord's going to judge our people first. And there's reasons for it. So the ones of you that are in this truth, you should be thanking your, um, not lucky stars, but thanking the Lord every day. Because we can see what they can't see. Yep. We know what they don't know. They don't know what's, especially our people, they don't know what's going on, man. Like we had a sit down the other day, my aunt said one in the sit down, um, basically, Edom is at war with us, man. So-called white man. But he said the only ones that know this is the ones that are awakened, the Lord that has awakened to his truth. Which is very, very true, man. And that video of the Edomite man going down and washing the Jake's feet. But he did it in front of the whole congregation. Because he wanted people to say, oh, that's nice, that's touching. See, the Lord is not dealing with people like that, man. And he's an either one. So he's going to be a slave. See? This is first Peter 4 and 11. 4 and 17. 4 and 17. And it says, for the time is come, where judgment must begin at the house of God. There you go, the house of God is us, 12 tribes of